instantaneous world of electric informational media involves all of us, all at once. Ours is a brand new world of all at onceness. Global Village is not created by the motor car or even by the airplane. It's created by instant electronic uh, information movement. The Global Village is at once plan as wide as the planet and as small as a little town where everybody is maliciously engaged and poking his nose at everybody else's business. The uh, Global Village is a world in which uh, you don't necessarily have harmony. You have extreme concern with everybody else's business and much involvement in everybody else's life. It's a sort of Ann Landers column writ large. And uh, it uh, doesn't necessarily mean harmony and peace and quiet, but it does mean huge involvement in everybody's else, everybody else's affairs. And so the Global Village is as big as the planet and as small as uh, the village post office. Hello, my beautiful people. I hope that you are doing well. That was a clip, the voice of Marshall McLuhan. He was a Canadian philosopher who, it would seem, uh, kind of foresaw social media. And he did end up devising his own theory about media. We're going to be talking about that theory in the next video. But today, in light of what is going on right now in our world, I want to focus on something Marshall said in 1968 when he was debating Norman Mailer. For some context, Marshall believes that the majority of the people see the present from the lens of the past. And an easy example of understanding that would be when I used to do uh, homeschool videos warning parents about the deterioration and mass propaganda that is still flooding the public school system, most didn't believe it. Obviously up until school closures and online, but I digress. So why didn't they believe it? Well, they went to school in the past, thus the present school system was surely like the school they had attended. Get it? Quite simple to think about it from less abstract ways. However, with that being said, Marshall actually believes that artists can see the present through the eyes of right now. And because of that, and because of pattern recognition, the artist can glean the future. Think of the book, Brave New World. Okay, let's go ahead and roll this clip. I don't want to lose touch with one word or phrase you brought up, Norman, violence. Ray Bradbury was uh, being interviewed not long ago, and he pointed out something that uh, struck me with great force, that violence is essentially the form of the quest for identity. And that whether in an individual life or a whole culture, violence is the quest for group or private identity. Without that interface, without that roughhouse, without that encounter with the world, you don't get an identity. Now, this isn't to say that uh, identity is necessarily bought at a, a, its true price. We may pay far too much for it. I'd actually like to ponder, really think about... Um what he said and kind of the implications of that the reason for it is we are standing on the cusp of a pivotal moment in human history i think on some level most of us do know this thus the great and powerful memes that say which way western man marshall could see a future of mass communication he had a deep understanding that at some point quote the medium was the actual message we personally see this day in and day out online, people puffing up their chest, dogpiling individuals, causing great harm to those who are not in their own tribe. This, of course, would not be so if it was a face-to-face -face encounter. We all know that. But in the end, what's happened is, is we have given cowards, people who pretend to be something that they are not the power and control over our society. And honestly, it can only lead to disaster, especially if Marshall is correct that the more we humans delve into 
social media and the social identity, the more tribalistic we're actually going to become. And then it, it's not even just tribalism or false tribalism. It's manufactured garbage shells of human beings that are being created and it is ultimately leading to the loss of individualism. Moving forward with this discussion, um, we will be having future videos on it. What I want to do is I want to end on a quick idea, a quick note on a new term that's called prophylicity. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, it is basically a type of an offshoot of Jungian's persona, right? The social mask that we wear when we go out into public. This, the, the prophylicity, is a bit darker, a little more sinister, and is what we are seeing play out on social media. Basically, it's the creation of a puppet self. Right? So instead of the mask you hide behind, you are now going to create a puppet self or an online persona. Um, and in that, it the person has to constantly, well, the person wants to be popular, right? The person has to constantly curate a version of an online self for the entire world to see and for the entire world to judge. And they'll have to constantly manage and update this online persona. The puppet and their identity is actually shaped and changed by the reactions and the judgments of others, as well as the desire to conform to the online profile expectations. A non-political yet obvious observation of this would be from the wealthy and very popular Nikocado Avocado. Now, I know that a lot of people in my audience may not be aware of him. If you don't have younger people around in your life, I guess the name would be meaningless. So for you, I'm actually going to post a link to a channel below. It's uh, Sunny V2, and I'm going to encourage you to watch that video. Here's a little clip to kind of give you an insight and help encourage you to watch it. Without further ado, let's make some mac and cheese. Here we go. I have gained weight, and I don't even know why. You guys know my weight's been spiraling out of control. Because my life is a disaster. There's no cure. This food's right in your brain. I miss the old Nick. Yada, 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 yada. Yada, 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 as I was diving deeper on this subject, a particular video came up this morning, and I'm going to link that as well. It basically involves <clears throat> a young man who actually ended up paying the ultimate price because of the online world. That video is from Tom Dark, and it is titled The Tragedy of Inquisitor Ghost. And that, again, takes a glimpse, a picture of of what we're seeing with this prophylicity and how online tribalism is really shaping our world. I believe it's important to understand this on a deep level because we're facing quite a challenge right now. Um, and you, I, we, we, we need to see the now for now and what war now would look like on American soil and not just look at war and conflict from the lens of the past. Obviously, you have to learn from history. You need to have an understanding of it, but you also have to incorporate the reality of the situation you're in to be a better warrior. Let's think about the statement Marshall brought up and bring it to terms 
of what is happening right now in every single Western country, in every country that actually signed the UN Global Com Compact on regular and steady migration. Quote, violence is essentially the form of quest for identity, whether in an individual life or a whole culture, violence is the quest for group of private identity. With that interface, without that rough house, from without that encounter with the world, you are not going to have an identity. So all of this is something to think about. Um, couple that with the growth of tribalism, the loss of identity, the loss of individualism, and really think about the direction the West is heading towards. What does the future hold? Please go watch at least at least one of the videos that I'm going to link below. And um, I will have a more comprehensive video up on the actual portion of media theory, at least by Monday, so that we can talk about this on our live stream Thursday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I really would like your guys' feedback. And if you made it this far, please remember to like, share, and most importantly, comment because something this looming um, does, does need to be talked about. All right. I hope everybody has a lovely day. Bye.